Alright guys, welcome back. So in the last video I showed you how to make Tannerite um, that can be set off with a rifle or a blasting cap and that's what I'll be showing you guys here. Um, not sensitive, this is very safe, so don't worry about it, it is powerful enough to set it off. So when you shoot that or use a blasting cap you'll see a very big green flash and smoke go out to the sides and it'll shake the ground and it'll be very very loud. Um, and it'll just leave a, a roaring sound and it's really quite amazing uh, so i'll show you guys how to make you can either set it off with a rifle round we usually use an ar-15 223 round or um, a mini 14 or something like that but this is a simple blasting cap so you can light it and run away because the tanner itself cannot be set off by fire it must be hit by shock because it is a high explosive but it doesn't need a super strong shock uh, because it's not something like tnt or um, anfo or um, any other large explosive uh, dynamite is actually easy to set off um, RDX um, any of those other large explosives uh, composition B which is the most common for grenades and mortars at this time in the military but this is the civilian type <laughs> um, until something bad happens and part of the military joins with us and part goes against we'll have access to other weaponry better weaponry uh, but until then uh, this is what we have and it's very good. We can make all different types of explosives. I've only made really this and a few others. Napalm, which is not an explosive, but incendiary. I've made um, TATP, gunpowder, gun cotton, a lot of simple things. Um, flash powders. But uh, there is a website which I... Um, it's under... Uh, just look up on your browser how to make TNT. I'll actually, I can put the link for it um, down below, but it's how to make TNT, and it's something about, you'll, you'll notice it. It says something about how to make TNT. One of these files are for study purposes only, something like that, but I will I'll, uh, put the link down below. But this is just a simple blasting cap, not using a primary explosive. Primary explosives are your TATP, uh, I believe HMTD, uh, a few others. Um, very, very sensitive, can be set off with just a slight shock. And they're very sensitive, so um, definitely making artillery rounds. That, and um, so they weren't shocking enough to set off the explosive prematurely in the barrel of the cannon. So these, because we're not trained professionals, these are much safer and won't get set off easy. It's just gunpowder super pack tight though and you can use smoke smokeless powder too if you pack it tight enough which is the key here but it is kind of frightening to do that but here i'm using gunpowder like i said you can use smokeless powder uh, it really depends on the size of fuse you use this is a very very big fuse uh, so i had to go with a larger bullet size but if you're using very small fuse you can go with uh i'd say the lowest you should go is a um, 7.62 at lowest a 223 five five six here i am using a 300 wind mag i believe and it's very it's quite large if i put my it's about almost the length of my finger the first two joints so it's very big uh, and that's with, with it crimped very tightly so what you're going to want to do is have the empty shell casing drill through the top of the primer after it's been shot because if you drill through it before it's been shot it will go off because that does use um, I cannot remember the name of the primer uh, material explosive that it uses. Um, yeah, it's on the tip of my tongue. I completely forgot. Oh, it's driving me insane. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't remember the name of that. But make sure it's after it's been shot and used, then you can drill it with the size of that fuse. Drill it a little bit smaller, try it, and then... Uh, just open it up a little bit more with that drill bit. If you still can't fit it, do a bigger drill bit. Get that fuse in there. Make sure you leave. I did a little overkill here, but if you're making a grenade, um, make it smaller so that the distance you're throwing. And I have other projects I'll be showing you guys. Uh, 37 millimeter grenades for a improvised grenade actually out of a 37 millimeter under barrel flare launcher that I'll be showing probably next week. As well as artillery rounds with impact uh, blasting caps, and you can also use these as a 
uh, timed fuse for artillery uh, that goes off at a certain height. So the same principle applies, and you would just have this, and then it would be ignited by the uh, fire of the cannon when it shoots. And that's, just, that's basic stuff. I'm just kind of reiterating it here. Uh, but I'll get into more of that in the future. This is just for simple grenades. Mainly, you can use it for artillery, but I'm explaining it for grenades, as that's going to be my next video, is a high-explosive grenade. So get that hole drilled the size of the fuse, and put that fuse hot glue around it so it just stays. This is strong. Flip it over to the back before this is crimped. You have it open. Fill that thing up with gunpowder or smokeless powder. Regardless, fill it up the end. If you're using gunpowder, leave a little bit of space for air so you have enough room to crimp. If you're using smokeless powder, fill it up as much as you can, and just you'll end up really packing that down. It's a little more, more dangerous, so I suggest gunpowder. Uh, but get it and leave where the where it goes in, where it reduces to size of the bullet. Fill it to about there. And then, you're ready, put it in your vise, clamp it down to make it flat, take a pair of needle nose pliers, bend it over just enough to get it back in your vise, and tighten it and get a second bend. Then you'll have a two bend that will not come undone. This will break before that breaks. So you'll get sh uh, shrapnel from this, which will in turn set off the explosive. And that's it, a simple blasting cap to, that is strong enough to set off tannerite. Um, yeah, because a bullet is about the same velocity, um, so is this. So you'll get, I'll show you guys how to put it in the grenade, um, either a pipe bomb or a uh, GM-10 grenade or anything of that sort. But you'll have it in there and it'll light and make sure that um, tannerite or your explosive, tannerite in this case, because it's really the only thing that'll set it off. Um, nothing else this size will really get set off by something this weak. Um, make sure it's surrounded by the explosive and the shrapnel from that, the impact will set it off. So I'll see you guys in the next video.